wonderful things it is capable of producing for humankind. Forever Living Products has taken full advantage of the bee with several excellent products. There is Forever Bee Honey, of course, as natural as it comes. No alterations, no dilutions, and best of all, it's from the high desert country of Arizona. More about that coming up. Forever Royal Jelly Tablets, the same substance that turns an ordinary bee into a queen. Forever Bee Pollen is chock full of energy building nutrients. And Forever Bee Propolis, first used by the ancient Greeks to defend against bacterial infection. You're probably already familiar with these fine products and their properties. We wanted to give you an idea of how they came to be, because it's extremely important to the quality Forever Living provides to customers. It all begins here, near the tiny, isolated community of Aguila, in the high Sonoran Desert of Arizona. The bees gather from flowers of such things as the saguaro cactus, the choya, chaparral, mesquite, palo verde, cat's claw, and many other plants in this pristine environment. The honey that results from the efforts of the bees here has a unique flavor, much in demand by connoisseurs worldwide. Honey, already renowned as one of the purest foods we can consume, is even purer here because of the circumstances under which it is gathered, from desert plants untainted by insecticides or other agricultural chemicals. Aloe Vera of America has an agreement with Forever Living Products that is exclusive. Its affiliate, Robson Honey and Supply, provides raw materials only for use in Forever Living Products. With that exclusive agreement, we are rewarded with the expertise of Charles Robson. He is a bee and bee products expert of some 50 years experience, a man who knows bees, bee products and their capabilities as perhaps no one else does. Charles has even written a book covering the gamut on bees. We would not live on the planet the way we do if it wasn't for the honeybee. The honeybee evolved somewhere around 40 million years ago at the time that flowering plants evolved. And as a result, uh, we can see literally thousands of food crops. All, there are so many of the plants that would not produce without the natural honeybee to do the pollination for it. If you take pollen from the hive in the granular form, you would have to chew it a very long time to break it down to the point that the body would uh, be able to use it. So it's much better in the tablet form because it's milled, micronized down to a smaller size, which gives you a lot more benefit uh, for, for your use and uh, using it as a health food product, which it is. It's a food, and it's always been referred to by Mother, as Mother Nature's most natural, perfect food because it contains 92 known elements, counting all of the 16 ray of vitamins, all of the uh, minerals it's contained, all 22 amino acids, 10 that are the essential to the body that you need on a, da a daily basis. And as you know, amino acids are called the building blocks of life. There's what it takes you to have a healthy body every day. So that's why people refer to it as nature's most perfect food. There's not another form of food on the face of the earth it contains all 92 elements. Let's take a look now at the processes that result in the Forever Bee products as overseen by Charles Robson. First, of course, the gathering. The bees forage over the high desert, tapping cactus, chaparral, mesquite, palo verde, cat's claw, and other plants for their nectar and pollen. Again, the country they cover is relatively untouched by humans. Then it's back to headquarters, the hives. As the bee re-enters the hive, it passes through a pollen collector. In this case, it's a device patented by Charles Robson. Excess pollen comes off the bee going through the grid of tiny wires. Some of the pollen falls to the bottom of the hive to be gathered. The bee's trip to the hive, loaded with pollen, will be made an average of 10 times a day, but could be many more than that. 
The patented pollen collector used by Robson is humane and gathers only excess pollen that is not needed for a good crop of honey. Propolis is used by bees as a lining in the hive, especially around the entry. They use it to defend against bacterial contamination. Without it, the estimated 60,000 bees in a typical hive would die. Some scientists believe propolis makes the hive more sterile than the operating room in a modern hospital. Propolis stems from the bud sap of certain trees. The bees then add their own ingredients and end up with a substance that contains vitamins, amino acids, minerals, and a selection of bioflavonoids. Hippocrates, the father of medicine, used it to help heal ulcers and as a salve to treat wounds and sores. Modern use of propolis goes back to the Boer War when medics used it to treat wounds. And of course, Forever Bee products customers swear by it. Royal jelly secreted in glands of the worker bees is used by them to feed future queen bees from the larval stage right up through the adult life of the queen. The jelly comes about during the digestion of pollen and is extremely high in its protein content. After the initial gathering, the products, honey, pollen, propolis, and royal jelly, come into headquarters in Aguila for initial processing and preparation for shipment to Forever's plant in Phoenix. At each step along the way, purity and quality are the bywords. Great care is taken to preserve the integrity of the substances the bees have provided. As we follow pollen through the process, on delivery to the Robson facility in Aguila, Arizona, it is carefully inspected and weighed. A sample is taken and tested for moisture content. It is sanitized by freezing it to a temperature of 10 below zero. Specifically, this kills spores and bacterial foreign matter, which may have gotten into the pollen. The pollen is then thoroughly dried. After the drying, a special cleaning process to remove any foreign matter takes place. This special cleaning process is unique to the Robson operation. To assure a continual source of this processed pollen, it will be stored in a gila, far from the big city contaminants. As needed, it will be sent directly to the plant in Phoenix. On arrival in Phoenix, the first of two milling operations takes place, reducing the pollen to a fine powder. The powder is then weighed, and a proper amount of honey is also weighed. The small amount of honey is mixed into the powder to act as a bonding agent when the tablets are formed later on. The mixture is then granulated, put on trays, and then into a drying chamber. Now the second of the milling operations is initiated to once again make a fine powder of the pollen and honey mixture. A blending process takes place in a giant mixer to help ensure uniformity of color and content. The pollen is now ready for the high-speed tableting machines. The tablets come pouring out of the cold pressing machines. No heat, which might break down the pollen, is used at any step along the way. The product is constantly sampled and tested for correct weight and hardness of each tablet. Now the product which began in the beautiful plants and flowers of the high desert of Arizona is ready for bottling in the Phoenix facility. A 
Again, constant monitoring goes into stringent quality control. At the end of the line, of course, packing. Then shipment all over the world. Because of the very nature of these products, Aloe Vera of America is extremely conscious of its responsibility to follow the bee's example in making all natural, pure products for its FLP customers. You can certainly be proud and confident in your association with Forever Living Bee Products.